Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends, Letty here, Living Life with Letty. And uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and I hope that you will stay and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know when my next video is going to be. In this video, I am going to go around and show you uh, the things that I think were the best. There are about 10 things that I think that have really worked for me. I did a video last week on the worst 10 things, things that did not work and that I had to give away. And somebody mentioned uh, in the um, comments that I should get off my chair and show the things that I was talking about on the 10 worst things. However, there is nothing to show because I gave them away. So I would have shown them maybe before I gave them away, but unfortunately I didn't. But in this video, I am going to show you, and I know a lot of you uh, that watch my videos and I appreciate it, uh, have seen a lot of these things, so it may not be new to you, but I do have a lot of new subscribers. So, um, you know, you probably have never seen these. And I am going to put a few links down below the description of some of the things that I did videos on already. So come along with me and let's go see the best things that I have bought for or done for my little van. My little Ford Transit Connect. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me, why did I get such a little van? Well, number of reasons. Number one, it does 30 miles to a gallon. So I can go half as far as I could with a big van. And the other thing, it's so easy to drive. Um, I can go anywhere that a car can go. So those are my two reasons for getting my little Transit Connect. And I love it. And his name is Charlie. The Max Van is probably one of the very best things that I did for my van. It was given to me by a subscriber and then I had it installed. It is a 10 speed. It sucks air out and blows air in. Um, it it has a, uh, a a remote control, so I don't have to get up. I can do it right laying down in bed, change the speeds. Um, the other thing was I got a six foam, six inch foam mattress, and it is really really comfortable. As you can see, it you know it's right on top of the bed, and it's just you know I did have to cut it, but it's it was a very good investment. Uh, I can't go on the very thin ones, you know. When you get to be our age, you want comfort. The bed is a little bit too short. Uh, it is a good bed. It is a very good thing that I did, uh, but I am going to have it raised. A friend of mine is going to help me raise it up with those things that you buy, like at Walmart for furniture. So that's in the works. Uh, the next thing is that little table that you see there that has come in so handy. Um, you know, I have my water over there. And uh, the other thing is my little 12 volt tea kettle. That thing um, has really come in handy as well when I don't want to fire up the stove. And it really doesn't take that much power. And if I am um, charging my battery uh, solar, uh, it's no problem. And then here is my 12 volt uh, ba uh, blanket. And it heats up. And on a very cold night, if I heat it up with enough time, it will warm up my bed. Plus, you know, I also got my uh, water bottle, which is over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to come around. So um, those things are have really made a big difference. Um, of course, my little uh, battery, my little uh, pretend Jackery has also been a blessing in disguise because uh, I charge it as I'm driving and then um, I have it. I can charge my phone multiple times or my lantern or anything else at USB like a little fan things like that and it lasts quite a while of course uh, if you saw my last video my new uh, cushion covers and I filled them up with clothes this is how I'm gonna be traveling with my clothes. Um, so, and, and it holds quite a lot and I have two empty ones that I'm gonna be filling up Here's as well. My hot water bottle with it's a very, very cute sweater. 
this is my funky looking duel. It's upside down right now. And it has this big stick. A lot of people have said, oh, you know, put a rope, put a rope. Don't do this. Don't do that. But the thing is, this is what works for me because the stick is not going to fall. When I put the uh, stool down, then I, when I'm sitting in the bed or standing, I can pick it up very easily without you know, worrying about the rope falling and then I have to get out. And so this is what works for me. And of course, I have my blackout curtains. As you can see them, they're white on one side, black on the other, and they are just absolutely magnificent. One of the best things that I purchased was this little uh, French press, and I love it. I heat up my water with my little 12 volt um, tea kettle put the coffee in there, put the water in there, leave it for however strong I want it, and I have fresh, wonderful tasting coffee without having to worry about a coffee maker. So that was a very good thing. It's not for everybody, but it definitely does work for me. That has worked for me very well, and it was very, very inexpensive, is my um, bedpan. And what you see there, that white stuff, is we tried to glue some foam, but it came undone. But anyway, I have my bags in there, and I have puppy pads. I put the puppy pad on the table, put the bed pan, and do my business, and then I wrap it up, and I'm done. And I don't have to have a big bucket. Uh, the bucket just did not work for me uh, because I don't have the room in this little bitty van. So my little bed pan works beautifully. And like I said, it was really inexpensive. And it's not for everybody. I'm just uh, saying what works my for me. My dash mount is also a very, very good thing. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it is automatic. Uh, the I can't do it right now because I can't reach it, but it does have a little button and it grabs onto the phone and then it releases the phone. So, and I have a video on that. So if you want to know more, um, it's like three videos down. I can leave the link underneath the um, uh, description if you are interested in knowing more about this little dash mount. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all the things and um, I hope that they have helped you in some way uh, if you're new to this uh, adventure whether you're going to be a permanent or part-time uh, van dweller um, you know it's trial and error and what works for one person does not work for another and I know you know a lot of people will tell you buy this do this get that and and the only thing you can do is try try it out and it may work for you and it may not I know you know, from past experience that a lot of the things did not work for me and some things did. And there's a lot more things that I'm going to be needing in the future. So it's again, trial and error. I won't know until I get it and try it. And if it doesn't work, well, return it. Or if I can't return it, then, you know, uh, gift it to someone. Oh, well, until then, my friends, I love you all. May the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on your solar panels. I love you. Bye-bye.